Oh god, it's looping, Alex. <laughs> I was gonna hit the welcome back, and I hit the loop, and it just started playing again. <laughs> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Trip for Gaming's podcast for the new Xbox Series X. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting virtually slapping his little attachment to his microphone so it does the is Alex. I was just gonna do, do the mic thing, the, <laughs> but I can't. I, I, I can't. I, I need like an, an electromagnet with an original Xbox, and that's how you know. That's how I get the noise. Hmm. Or, that's, that's true. That's for Halo. But that's I'm for Halo. No, I push. get. I get what you're saying. I think all the achievers understood the reference. Yeah. And I will tell you, and I learned mm. this yesterday. I completely forgot about it. But you know how they use that for Halo, the very sensitive thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did the same thing in Destiny. I don't know what stuff they used, but they used it on a breast pump. And it's in the game. Interesting. Yes. And as far as I understand, people have skepticized that it's the end of a Warlock's super. It is the, it's the breast pump Inter sound. Interesting. Yeah. I, I don't think anyone could... You know, you wouldn't know. I think that's just a guess. I mean, I would because my wife <laughs> breast pumps. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I assume it's like deepened and like subverted in some way. So I don't know if it's easy to tell, mm. but that's what people guessed. Challenge accepted. I don't know how you guess something like that, but hey, props to them, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. What are we doing here, Alex? That's right. We're doing a video game podcast, not a breast pump enthusiast podcast. We come together for you every single Friday sometimes when we have something to talk about. Usually it's news. This time, though, this is a very special podcast. Boy, oh boy. This is going to be talking about all the Series X things, everything we've got. We've had the console for roughly two weeks now, so this mm -hmm. is every count that every single thing we think about it the things we like the things we might not like and everything in between we're gonna start right now alex mm. what are your thoughts let you know no 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 before we get into mm. thoughts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everyone clearly wants the new gens right it's crazy yeah. everyone's trying to buy them every news article is this thing sold out in the X seconds and all this stuff. Did you oh, get sure. into any turbulence acquiring your system? Was it just a normal? Did any fun in, funny business or shenanigans ensue? Um, not for me. I, I had no issues. I literally, the day they said it was pre-orderable, I went to go pre-order mine and I was lucky enough to be able to get one. Mm. Same for me. It was very easy on my part. Um, mm. I was there, pre-ordered it, and I'm good. And I got it when it came out. Nothing eventful for me. I did hear some people very enthusiastically waiting for their UPS driver to come so they could get it. I unfortunately yeah. did not experience that. I just got mine from a store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just got I got mine from a retail store. Yeah. So nothing incredible from our point of view, but. I did want to walk everyone through that. Alex, I, I want to walk in. The first off the box was pretty incredible. Yes. It, it, de it definitely got in my feels. And then you got to unwrap it like a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. Are you I kidding like me? The, first off, I like the way it opens up just like a, like a chest mm -hmm. type of thing. It, it, it was very different too. Like it even mm. felt new. Like even opening it. First off, I did forget there was extra tape. I took off the front tape. There's yeah. back tape. I was opening it like, am I a weak bitch? And, and then I looked to the side like, oh, no, no, it's just more tape. And it's, and, it's, and it's scary too because you know you feel like there's just that one. Yeah. And then you're like trying to open it and it doesn't, but you're like trying to force it. But I was like, you know, I, can, I don't want to force it because I just got this thing. I don't want to break you it. You don't want to force it. You do not yeah. want to force anything. You want consent to be involved. As long as mm -hmm. consent's there, you know you're good. Now, I took it off, open it, looks great. We hook it up. I'm sure everyone's watched unboxings. When this thing starts, bla first off, blazing fast. Oh, for sure. It is astonishing how fast this thing is. I, it's like it's like some sort of sorcery magic. You just mm -hmm. click it, and it's just on. We were not greeted with anything new dashboard-wise. We did get a theming system, which is pretty new for Xboxes. Yes. Um, you can get, like, and a the dynamic theme. Yeah, you can get, like, a dynamic theme if you want it. 
I like it fine. I'll most likely change it to something else later on, but I have it on for now. Mm. Uh, but yeah, nothing too different on home screen. Would you agree, Alex? Yeah, no, everything is about the same. Uh, I do, I do like the the interact not interactive the live wallpaper thing that you go mm-hmm. i do wish that it, it wasn't the same color as whatever you you're set to because that's right. another way to change that correct yeah me too um I do first off they need to that. add more colors that's the same color since og xbox basically yeah i mean like come on I, yeah they definitely need to add og xbox one same colors i i figured by now we'd have a whole color wheel spectrum and they're just like you yeah. get you get blue gray brown like what are you doing we don't who, is anyone really picking brown <laughs> i do you'd be surprised that's true someone's probably picked brown i i try not to judge yeah <laughs> now alex hmm. what was the first game you played the first game i played on my xbox hmm. i played so many games what was the first uh, game you played on your series x assassin's creed okay so assassin's creed is the first thing you booted up on how was that experience easy was it annoying oh dude it, it i literally had it downloaded mm-hmm I moved it over from my internal to my ex- to, to or excuse me external to my yeah, internal. Correct. Yeah, I needed that update. I let it update real look really quick. Mm-hmm. Not quick, fifty uh, gigs. I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I actually took a little bit for some. Yeah, things fifty gigs. Everybody was just Jesus. everybody was just on. Yeah. I'm trying to do that, but once I got it booting up, dude, as soon as I saw that main menu and I, you can see the little fire crackles that are in sixty in, in sixty FPS. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Like, you could see the difference. Yeah, I, I do feel like you can see the difference almost immediately, especially booting out. Now, I will say Assassin's Creed, although beautiful, I feel like will not show off the technical aspects of the system. And um, I think you can see mm-hmm. that in something like a uh, the Gears 5, which I haven't played yet, but I've seen demoed. I, I need yeah. to download it just to try it, but I've heard it is absolutely magic. Yeah, magical. Because I'm not going to lie, Assassin's Creed it looks great. It's awesome. But it, they've never had that crazy fidelity of right. graphics. Mm-hmm. Like, I agree, especially with their uh, character. You, uh, yeah, like, look like mm-hmm. even my wife, like she notices, mm-hmm. and I don't agree. <laughs> but she says that uh, origins look better, uh, like character wise, and I don't remember. I understand what she's saying. Mm. I will say the lighting for sure was better in Origins, but mm. I understand yeah. the lighting can't be like, like you're supposed to be in Norway, so like it's supposed to be yeah. cloudy. It's supposed to not be dreary. Even in England, it's very and dreary I, I, and cloudy. But I that too. But I was sometimes you'll see the 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 lighting with the sun. It does change it to where like there's certain parts where it's like very nice, mm-hmm. but then it gets very red because of the sunset yeah i i also am saddened not to see a performance slash uh graphical setting mm-hmm. um i wish that was there yeah i, noticed I was very that surprised was there. there wasn't one you can't just choose something um mm-hmm. i'm assuming the update adds you know better everything i did not look mm-hmm. at what it is i'm assuming i'm running at 60 frames because it feels great yes. looks great yes. you're automatically running at 60 frames okay cool uh i played assassins f- over these two weeks what i'm probably 14 hours in i want to say is what it says uh i'm in i'm enjoying my time alex i've been i've been up to my eyeballs in destiny 2 i I, let's i haven't played let's stick with assassins and because i'm gonna go on a whole thing about Destiny. so uh, let's finish with assassins i love it so Mm -hmm. far i am i am dipping my toe in it 14 hours is nothing in this game i I think it's 70 hours long so i'm i'm at 21 hours right now okay yeah so you're good bits ahead of me now i did we will talk about in another episode play more spider-man so that is where most Mm -hmm. of my time went at the very beginning but mm-hmm. uh, that's a different show. Uh, speaking yeah. of which, you can head over to youtube.com slash EGachievers right now and watch our PS5 review. Anyways, I will say I enjoyed Assassin so far. I do find myself being pulled almost every time to Destiny for something. <laughs> this season has been insane. Before I get into that, Alex, what is your base thoughts? You can say a review if you feel like you're confident enough, but of course you haven't beaten it yet. Uh, um, so what do you think? Is this a first impressions? What are you giving me? 
for assassins assassins, or assassins just assassins right now so far dude i am i am digging it i i've had a little a little hiccups here and there you know i uh, i did get the little unity faceless thing happen oh once. no really but it wasn't during the game. It was uh -huh. while it was while I was in one of the menus because in <laughs> one of the menus you you get you know you can see a certain character. Yeah, I know what you're talking and, about. Yeah, and um, when I scrolled back over that character, it uh it came back, but it did do the thing where I, all I saw was eyes and mouths, and I'm like, Whoa. uh, okay, so I just hovered back off of it, and then came back and it was there. So maybe it just didn't render fast enough. But uh, it was it was that, and then maybe. What was it? Um, there was um, one of my mount, my mount. I had just got off of it, and I guess it was still part of the cutscene. And my character <laughs> was walking through my my mount, <laughs> and that was, that, that was pretty funny. Like I didn't care that sounds that it was pretty messed funny. up. It was still pretty funny. And I, I remember. Like, right, I, I want to say that mind. happened in Odyssey once, where I was on the horse and I dropped off, and the horse was just walking and stood in the frame, so you couldn't see <laughs> either character. It was just yeah. them cutting back to just horse face. Every it was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah. But other than that, I mean, if if it runs great, I like the combat. It's such a cool story. I mean, so far, dude, I'm I'm loving it. That's good. That's good. I I'm pretty positive on it too. Aside from little hiccups and graphical things, there was a very very um, terrible bug that was happening at launch. Uh, mm -hmm. There was screen tearing happening with certain TVs. I don't know if that was based on the the system not talking to the to the tv um apparently it was the game that was having the issue i'm as far as i understand that's been patched i'm unsure i'm um, not sure if i would uh i'm not familiar with screen tearing so i'm not sure I, if i, I get that i want to say it's the 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 outlining of images and it looks like there's like a tear where you can't see an image it's just like white because i've seen like a oh. little bit of the screen oh, tearing I see what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like... It, is that... It, it, was I correct? Um, kind of, but uh, it was also screen tearing is like, let's say uh, you have a door and part of the door, like, it's, let's say you ha you're, you have, you're like in a room mm -hmm. and half mm -hmm. the room I see it. is like, you see like a line. Yeah. But, and so like half of the room is slightly over to the left and then the other part, like the upper bot upper top of the room yeah. is to the right. So you, like, kind of, like, shifts. you essentially take an image, cut it in half and you move yeah. the image slightly to the right and it's not yes. connected. That, that yes. makes, yeah. I, okay. I know it's, screen. I have, okay. I have not experienced that. Yeah, I have I, not either. I have <laughs> experienced where images are supposed to be outlined when i'm like on a boat or something mm -hmm. it almost looks like there's a grain separating the image from the background so mm. picture picture a tree and there's a hill behind it i can see the outline of the tree and it looks like a white mesh it's very very faint but i can still see it so i've had issues too um my actual system i will say <laughs> i have not had a sis uh, an issue with the system yet mm -hmm. which is a win <laughs> i haven't had any issues alex have you any issue at all like crashing or something with your home screen messed up uh no yeah, i have i haven't had anything go wrong the only thing that i have noticed um for some people say they have that made a difference but for me i i guess i didn't give it enough time i was trying to pl go back to Watch Dogs. And I put it on the Series X internal to make sure everything's good. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't see a difference whatsoever. Mm. And honestly, I don't. It's like it's not 60 frames, so it's just running. It, honestly, it just feels like it's running like a regular Xbox One game. Interesting. So, uh, I'm, just, I'm just like honestly, it just did not appeal to me. Gotcha. So maybe I just gotta give it a, a second, or maybe it needs an update. But I just. Mm -mm. Okay, so maybe there was not a substantial enough update to feel different then yeah it just didn't it didn't feel like there was any difference and i was like you know what i don't want it to like because with the memory of the system you know you gotta be you gotta be very picky you do so have I just to be moved it back to the external yeah just get it out of there i get it i get it i um i have been playing the majority of destiny 2 beyond light mm. which is so much fun i've been having a blast with destiny 2 uh, it has not seen huge graphical updates, although the loading is incredibly fast. And mm. I mean, I am zooming. I can like go from an, a place to the main hub in roughly 
20 seconds like it is insane yeah. how fast it is uh i enjoy the campaign the campaign was fun um it is definitely destiny though like it, it, i don't think anything has changed like if you played destiny and you weren't into it i can't say like hey this is new now like come play it now uh yeah. the 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 astral aspect of like classes and things like that are different and the the guns are different but i don't think there's a single thing i'd be like oh if you didn't like it it's much better now like it's more destiny and i'm having a blast i did the raid um mm -hmm. the other night had a blast with that i will say that is easily the best raid i've ever played oh wow period from anything um, how hard is it difficulty was um i will be perfectly honest from th so the first so it's broke up in four encounters essentially yeah first there's a opening segment that isn't really an encounter you just kind of have a puzzle kind of mm -hmm. the second is an actual encounter i would say um that's pretty easy to figure out uh mm -hmm. you just learn the basic mechanic of that and you, you you'll figure it out it's easy the next mechanic is uh probably one of the most wordy mechanical version of the game yet it is probably one of the most complicated encounters of destiny so if somebody tries to explain to me i'm not gonna understand anything so i would have to try it myself I would probably say that yes because there's so many parts to it but really it's just involving one person doing their job not okay. really everyone doing something it's kind of like as long as each person does what they're supposed to do you'll figure it out it's really cool if you're any interested look look up the fights they're really cool um okay. i will say the third encounter is the best experience i've ever had in an online game with the set piece and what's happening and then the story of the raid that's happening as well is phenomenal it's, it's it's great love it i love it had a great time the weapons are super unique which i love too they look like halo made love with destiny which i know that sounds weird because you know it's bungee of course of course yeah, it looks but sure. like this looks like a like it looks like a halo gun like like hands yeah. down it looks like a halo gun uh and you can look that up uh and uh yeah just having a great time with this um uh, season having so much yeah. fun i i tried uh the new exotic sword that thing is so much fun it's a chainsaw sword it, it's it looks like um it looks like uh oh i always blank on what these are called motherboard it looks like it looks like a motherboard of a computer made into a sword interesting yeah it's cool and it has a chainsaw on it which i mean come on right it's got a chainsaw so i think of a lancer circuit board so, uh, sword yep 100 percent. i can talk about destiny literally the entire podcast yeah, i'm not gonna do that to it. i'm not gonna do that. i i you, you do i i i think you're probably burnt out but if you can find it in your body to at least try to get into the raid mm -hmm. so i can show you the raid that's all i want to do just show you the raid yeah. and then you can go do whatever you want that raid is yeah, fun because i've been playing a bunch of other stuff so i've been trying to give it a break so i can go back to it yeah yeah, yeah. So on my Xbox, I've been playing that. Uh, played a little bit of Apex. That was fun. Yes. Uh, Fortnite, of course. My normal online games. Assassins was fun. Overall, the system. What I'm finding is it's great. It's as advertised. If you read about the Xbox, it's as advertised. Gears Tactics was another game I played. Super fun on that. I haven't Love tried it. that yet. I haven't oh, tried. I have to try it. You should if you like any tactic game. Um, it's pretty simplified so far. I've only played a little bit of it, but it is so much fun. It is really yeah. cool so far. Um, I checked out Ori. It, dude, it looks so great. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ori yeah. is such a, f a fun game. It's, so. always, it's always looked great, but like now I just I, like, I feel like it's just even better. Yeah, it's like 120 frames or something like that. I haven't tried to see Thieves because I've heard uh, Thieves, Thieves is running like outstanding. That's good. I should try. We should try Sea of Thieves sometime. Yeah. But the, there's just too much to talk about that I'm having fun with. But I, I'm having a blast. Love love everything. Uh, Game Pass is still insane. I'm waiting for Dragon mm -hmm. Quest. Uh, Cyberpunk, of course, is something I want to play. Yeah, um, I'm waiting for that, too. Uh, I haven't played uh, COD yet, but that we'll talk about that later. 
uh all in all the system good time alex what do you think final thoughts on the system I, i'm gonna pose one more question after this i actually have one question for you oh go hit it uh what do you feel about the new controller uh i'm indifferent and i'm spoiled so i feel like my my because you're a late controller yeah i feel like my opinion isn't much here now it I, feels I forced my i didn't force myself i wanted to try the new controller mm -hmm. and so the very first day of me playing i i used the the new controller all day i used and it, it fits, partially i didn't use it much yeah i mean i i like i like the d-pad i feel the d-pads and then the tr the, the, the grips on the little tr on the triggers feel good I, I like the new share button i'll say like for the for like for like how it feels it's mm -hmm. much better than the other controller which is good like it's it's even yeah. better which sounded impossible but it is it's got a nice grip <laughs> the triggers and bumpers feel better the, it has a share button to easily share a clip or a screenshot or sorry mm -hmm. a, a screenshot so like I, I can't ask for much more i'm just spoiled with my elite controller it's perfect yeah no for sure alex i got one thing to ask you Okay. Not to be negative, but I want to know, is there one thing about the system that you want changed? Is there something you don't like? Hit it. Hmm. Is there one thing that you you think about and you're like, I really wish they changed this? I mean, the f proprietary memory. Of course, right? Do you want what? <laughs> so what, what aspect of that did you want different? I, I, I just don't want it to be proprietary. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I just want to be able to use my external. Mm -hmm. So you want to you wanna be able to buy any SSD. You don't want to have to buy theirs. I, I, yeah, I was that. I mean, if they're going to make it proprietary, I just I don't make it so expensive. Right. Now, I will say, and this isn't to vend them. I don't care uh, about Xbox. Um, sorry. I don't care how about them making money. Uh, but yeah. I will say they are expensive all around. Uh, the specific NVMe4, I think, is what it is. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I'm wrong. SSD are two hundred dollars for mm -hmm. a So I mean, it, I, they're not upping it just so everyone knows, but they're not making it any better, any better looking than, than making you pay two twenty to get one. But that yeah. is the market cost, unfortunately. It's just, it's just crazy. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, no. Other than that, I mean, it just, I mean, other, than it. So far, I mean, I've had, I've had no complaints with the system. Uh, I will echo Alex's thoughts. I of course want them cheaper. That's just on. That's just unfortunately not how storage works. It will eventually go down, just like everything else does. Um, I'd be curious on how much uh, a four terabyte hard drive costs in 2013 when the Xbox One came out. Uh, I'm assuming yeah. probably around the same $220. So I'm sure they'll eventually go down, uh, be semi-cheap in about three, four years. It is a long time to wait, but I would have rather had this than double the load times. No, for sure. Though I love the load times. They're so quick. Mm -hmm. Of course. Now, that's that's the small nitpicking. There's not honestly too much I want else from this. This is really good. I wish they did something different with achievements. They mm -hmm. didn't do anything different. I was hoping they utilized that badge system that they kind of proposed a little while ago that mm -hmm. they haven't yet brought back up. Um, I will never let Snap die until I'm dead. So oh, they sure. haven't yeah. talked about that either. I wish they'd talk about Snap. Uh, yeah. uh, what else? Um, uh, oh, more colors, like we said earlier. Like, Give me more colors for the menus. Yeah. Um, That might be it so far. We're only two weeks in, so I mean, we haven't had, you know, I've, I've been playing it, but like, I haven't had that much time with it, so I feel mm -hmm. like I'll have more to talk about in a few weeks. It, it, I will say this is the most same generation I've had so far, right? Like, mm -hmm. and I think that's a good thing, because if it would have been any different, that meant I couldn't have played my old games. Yeah. So I, I I like this way. I I prefer this. Like it's not too different, but 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 it's it's still kind of the same ish. Like you still play your older games, but but I, just, I did I think just the, I did just think of one, and I don't know if it was just me, but I did notice a f uh, something going on um, with the quick resume feature. Okay. Um, I'll turn the Xbox off, and I was playing. Let's say I, play, I was playing Assassin's Creed. I don't close or I don't 
quit the game, but when I turn the system and turn it back on, I'll go to start it over, and it's just starting from the main menu. Like, it didn't do the quick resume, but I didn't close the game or anything. Yeah. So it's, it's happened a couple times, and I'm wondering if maybe it's just an issue with the quick resume. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's an issue with the system or the game not communicating I properly. Know. I know that the quick resume has worked almost every single time I've used it. Now, I haven't been paying attention, but mm. every time I've clicked onto Assassins, it's been where I've been. Um, but that, has that happened opinion, multiple I times? Say out of 10 times, maybe six times it works. Okay, interesting. I wonder if it's that game or if it's the system. Because it's all hardware, right? The hardware is yeah. storing it, so it might be a software issue. Because uh, it's supposed to keep quick, keep quick resume, even if you fully turn the system off and unplug it. Because oh, it's yeah, just stored it, in its SSD it, as a backup. So it, it, it doesn't for sure. Because I've unplugged it and plugged it back in, and it would it would restart the game. Interesting. Like, well, I mean, I've game. seen. I mean, I've seen it work, but yeah, but yeah. it's not working in practice for you. though, is what you're saying. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if it's just that game or if it's anything else. Huh, Alex, that's all I got for you. What are your final thoughts? This is a sort of half review, half discussion based thing. What what do you what do you want to leave the audience with? Um, it's I mean, if you're on the fence of getting a Series X, I mean, I'd say go for it because it's it's great. I would say if you're the, thinking the about pro, it, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I would say the pros uh, overdo the cons if there is many cons at all. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, with load times, better gameplay, I mean, everything just runs better. I did forget one of my nitpicks. I can't believe I forgot this one being alive. Mm. Uh, no games, if I'm being perfectly honest, right? Honestly, I'm okay. I'm I mean, not I'm, sitting, I'm so I'm not sitting here on my, like, gilded throne of a... Th- literally, I have ten... I'm not joking. I did a count the other day. I have ten games I want to play before the year ends and yeah. fully beat. And that's probably forgetting some of them. So I am not sitting here being like, I don't have enough games to play. I'm saying I don't have enough Xbox games to play. I have Gears Tactics. I am now done naming every Xbox game that you have, right? Like, Gears Tactics is it. There's nothing else, right? I mean, we're and playing that, Assassins on um, Xbox. What I'm saying is I don't have an Xbox, a Microsoft, an a game studio. I, I don't have a Miles Morales. I don't have a Demon Souls. I don't have any of those. Okay. Again, I am sitting on a gilded throne of 20 probably games I want to play right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm not complaining. I'm pointing out a very obvious fault in Microsoft's mm-hmm. thing. Uh, Microsoft, mm-hmm. we've been kind of doing this thing like since 2013. Like, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they've released Honestly, pretty good they games. Probably don't, they're, they're either saving them or they don't care. And they're just like, well, you got games that are, I mean, they're there. They're not exclusives, but you got games. Yeah, and I'm kind of with you there with, like, they don't care. Like, they probably don't because get Game Pass if you want games. Which yeah, exactly. I honestly don't really care. Like, in mind, I, that's a good point. I mean, if you want games, grab Game Pass. Every now and then, you'll get a Battletoads. You'll get a, um, a Sea of Thieves. You'll get a, uh, the hey, you know, you'll get games like that spreaded thin i'll say but you'll get them yeah. and we're still haven't seen how you know and we're, we're getting bethesda games on it which is like what but yeah we're getting bethesda games on game pass yeah, I mean, now you're getting about uh, pretty much everything i mean now ea play is part of it so you get uh, 80 ea play games <laughs> yes, jesus christ it, it, it's pretty insane that they keep putting value in this thing and I can't imagine how much money they're eating on this. Uh, it, it has to be in well mm-hmm. over the millions and how much well, there's they're... there's a rumor that they were going to raise the price up of it. They have to. They have to. There's no way, right? Because yeah, it's $10 kind of, it's, for, it's... For, for literally over 100 That's like a, less than a dollar. Sorry, that's less than 50 cents a game. Well, Game Pass Ultimate is 15 a month. That's different. That's with gold and yeah uh, yeah I don't, can, I don't think can you just get just game pass without the of course yeah yeah yeah. it's 10 bucks a month you still could yeah yeah of course you can yeah okay. you, you can see you can get gold and game pass by itself if you want to or you just pay for mm-hmm. ultimate with a s- slight weird discount because i didn't i didn't think you could do that anymore because i literally <laughs> uh tried getting just just gold and it would say it's like oh it's gonna convert to game pass ultimate and it's like it wouldn't even let me just get gold. No, you can get gold. You probably mm-hmm. were being Alex about it. 
Mm. <laughs> but you can you can get you can get just gold you can get just game pass you can of course get game pass ultimate which is what they want you to do of course they want you to get game pass ultimate they want you to spend 15 dollars yeah. every month <laughs> Uh, but even then, it's like yeah. a steal. And by the way, I do not pay monthly. There's like always a deal on them. Like, like just buy them when they're on sale all of the time. You'll never have to worry about it. Yeah, I'm I I am due in three years, I think, or something like that. Goodness, I just make sure I never have to worry about paying it. Goodness. Yep. All right, Alex. This is our Xbox Series X review question mark I don't know we'll call this we'll call this something it's an impression impressions review slash thing though I say final thoughts I recommend of course the system if you are thinking about it I don't think there is a concrete must buy reason I will say you have to load games on it to really believe the insane speeds Mm-hmm. I think that by itself, if you just want a better machine to play games on, this is a perfect thing for you. If you're looking for the new system that wants to, to get exclusive games, you can probably wait a little while and, and get one in a year or two when it dies down and it's not as insane to get one. Yeah. Alex? I, I mean, I second that. I mean, it's it's the system's great. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. This has been our Easy Achievers Xbox Series X review, exclamation point, kind of. Thank you for joining us. Remember, every single Friday, you get a regularly scheduled Easy Achievers gaming podcast where we talk about the latest in all the best news. And remember, if you want to support us, you can like, comment, subscribe, share, and give us a listen to a friend. Patreon.com slash Easy Achievers is where you keep the mics on, the lights on, and Alex's dogs fed. They're hungry, and I will not feed them until I get another dollar on Patreon. That comes. That's easy, Chiefs. We love you. Remember, go, Chief. Go, Chief.